After parting ways with Kaito, I returned to my room. Are they going to give us another free time? Because we'll have to look at our gifts. No. Okay. We're going to get a lot more gifts, so I want to have more uh, things we can do on that on the free time events. This is an announcement! From the Ultimate Academy! Why were they so lazy? They're going to have the same announcement over and over again. They could have just... It's a few extra words. You think it was six, Oshawott? It. I think it was six. Uh, that's true, true divination. It was six, but it might as well have been five, because everyone got you got the first one right away. This is an official announcement. Okay. It is now 10 p.m. For one of you bastards, this might be your last night time ever. No way! Don't do something violent to start the killing game. You might you can make it one more night. Got <laughs> it! Totally get it. It's crystal clear to me now. I understand everything. Are you still high on honey? See, look at your face. The way your eyes are angled, the way your face is floating. That's a crazy face. Monokid seems really out of it. Is this what happens when you drink too much honey? When you're a robot bear? Bedtime. If you were a Monokuma, instead of killing everyone, I'd say I'd kill the first five people I caught. To each their own of the killing game. Not last time, last night time ever, huh? No, it won't be our last night time ever. Just our last night in this horrible place. Tomorrow night, I'm getting out of this place with everyone else. Yeah, yeah we promised we would be all be friends once we got out. You produce two new pixel art designs. Nice! Congratulations, Kara. Or Kara. I hear kids these days don't even say thank you anymore. I blame the parents. They haven't properly taught them the true meaning of thank you. It's very important to express gratitude to someone who has done something for you. It will make the fat person feel happy, and they might do something special for you later. In other words, thank you isn't just about conveying gratitude. It also conveys the expectation of a favor in the future. So the more you say thank you, the more you can use the people around you. Well, it hasn't worked for me because I say thank you a lot. So always say thank you to people and make them do lots of stuff for your benefit. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Rise and shine, Earth sign! It is now 8 a.m. Wake up. My heart's racing. Today's the day the time limit expires. My race is pounding with excitement. Don't worry. Even if you end up in a uh, heck, at least you can be proud that you didn't do the killing game. The hell you saying? Yeah, true. I found that sound bite. I just didn't have a, a hotkey. It is the turret. This this blank is in blank, and you are 16 are the triangle who triangle circle to leave square and come circle as the triangle square humans. I feel like he's going to blow up. Uh oh. Hey, Monokid, why don't we go over there and drink some more honey? Okay. I feel like he's going to explode. He looks like he's going to explode. The time limit was set to expire tonight, but weirdly enough, I was looking forward to it. Even then, I barely slept the whole night. I slapped my cheeks and leaped out of bed. All right. Is it leaped or leapt? All right, first I need to go to Shuichi's room. We're going to catch that mast. Ooh. That was foreshadowing. To me, that was kind of foreshadowy. I just need to go to his room. He's dead! Ah! Which one is he? This one? It's the first time we came to his room. No response. I wonder if something's the matter. Oh, 
Okay. <laughs> Jab baited. Ah, oh, Kaede, good morning. Jeez. Finally came out. You had me nervous for a second. Sorry. Sorry, I was just going to the bathroom. <sighs> oh, are you ready then? We have to get to the camera. We have to get the cameras from you, remember? Okay. Yeah, right. Onward! That could have been bad. Um, Angie, hi, you guys! Yahoo! Hey, hey, have you decided how you want to spend your final moments? Woohoo! Maybe you want to pray to a tour with me? Oh, jeez! You shouldn't be giving up so easily. <laughs> true, true. But, but... You two long gotta get, get along so well. I was hoping you'd rub off on the others in the dining hall. Um, what are you talking about? Atua has spoken. In such dire times, why won't they stop fighting? Huh? Fighting? Oh. Oh, they're fighting in the dining hall. Atua is really bummed out about it. Fighting in the dining hall. Shuichi. Do I have any assumptions who's going to die? And do I think everyone's going to die? Well, Doki Doki, this game would be amazingly short and boring if everyone died. So, someone going to die. I think it'll be Death Flag Kaito. Or maybe Kibo. So somebody, again, they get a free pass on the first death. So if it's not a real person, maybe they'll feel better about themselves. C can you get the stuff from you? I have to see what's happening. Leave it to me. Okay, I'll go get the cameras. Uh, let's meet up later at the classroom by the stairs to the basement. <coughs> Stay hydrated. Yeah. Got it. Angie, uh, you said the dining hall, right? Do you mind coming with me? Mm -hmm. Okie dokie, we'll stop it together. Who's fighting who, though, and why? Well, let's slowly... And I think the, uh... You were talking about this. These benches here. With the secret Monokuma. And we got that one. Checking, like, the sides for... Little bears jumping up and down. I hope they can't actually... Oh, that's just the light shining. Let the light shine down. I figured one of them would be sitting in here. Yep, we got him. So who's fighting? Hey. What's going on here? Oh, oh Kaede. Perfect timing. I really don't know what to do. Roma started talking crazy. <laughs> All I was doing was making a suggestion. So that more people can survive, even if it's just one more. That doesn't sound like fighting. Um. So that more people can survive? R Ryoma, what do you mean by that? Don't you get it? If time runs out like this, we'll all get annihilated, you know? The only way to avoid that is to play long with this killing game. Huh? What? Now hold on a minute. Kill me. Huh? Oh dang, Ryoma, what are you saying? Sheesh. You don't get that either. I'm saying that I'll give you guys my life. I. I don't have a reason to live anymore. Well. So if the rest of you want to live, I'll hand over my life to you. That's wrong. No way. We you promised we'd all get out of here together. <laughs> I hope it end that way. That's why I waited so long to bring this up. But we've been together, we've been waiting for the deadline without doing anything to change it. In other words... There's no more time left for idealism, don't you think? Uh, it's not idealism. However, this is the best choice for the situation. Whoever murders me gets to leave without a trial. Everyone else survives the time limit. After that, the person who gets to escape can go for help and rescue everyone else. Well... How about it? If you got a better idea, I'd love to hear it. That's actually a really sound plan. Let's go Kivo. He can be rebuilt. Um. Right? Well? What should I do? Maybe if I share Shuichi's plan with him, Ryoma will change his mind. Actually. Ryoma, there's no need for that. Hmm. I'm going to end this game. There's no need for that, because I'm going to end this. I've made my decision. He's saying, like, the, 
the dialogue for me to read is the exact it's this very similar to the same thing that he's voice acting huh it's confusing you're gonna end this game hey it's not about outfoxing everyone in this killing game it's about ending the game itself that's the real goal however can you even accomplish such a feat oh well, yeah I wouldn't be saying this if I didn't think I could. Then, then how will you end it? You understand that the time limit express expires tonight, yes? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, can't tell you. Actually, if I could, I wouldn't be having so much trouble. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? I'm going to end this game. Just what I said. I'm going to end this game. Taro is a creepy avocado. Okay, uh, so don't any of you go and do anything unnecessary, all right? What? Unnecessary? You've still got a ways to go. When you put it like that, it seems like I still have a ways to go. Got it. All right, I got it. I take back my suggestion. Do what you want. Whatever, whether you guys live or die is up to you. After Ryoma said that, he left the dining hall. That's a shame. Jeez, that Ryoma. I hope I helped calm him down a little. Um. Anyway, Rentaro, were you serious when you said you knew a way to end this game? Yeah. Not sure. Huh? Huh? How should I put this? Well, even if I did have an idea, I couldn't tell you. Can't risk anyone interfering. Rare time. Okie dokie. Then Angie will pray for your strategy's success, Rentaro. You'll get punished. But if you're lying, Atua says he will punish you for three generations to come, okay? <laughs> uh, now that's a threat. Well, I'll do my best to live up to your expectations, hmm? Unless I die before I have three generations, because then the curse won't mean a thing. Actually, I guess I have to do my best. Rentaro left, but what he said had really affected me. But Ending this game, is that even possible? Mm. I suspect he only said that to defuse the situation and stop Ryoma. I mean, ending this game? <laughs> you don't know that. Maybe Rantaro's hidden talent is actually a huge explosion. In the end, only Atua knows. Rantaro's hidden talent. I want to know what it is, but we don't have much time left. I can't worry about that now. I need to do something. I don't have time to worry about things I don't understand. I just need to do what I can. Or else I won't be able to protect everyone. I should go meet up with Shuichi. It's the classroom by the stairs to the basement, right? Onward! Did it make me leave to outside? Okay, no. Uh, classroom by the stair to the one downstairs. That's upstairs. Oh! That's cute. Oh, come on. Hidden Monokuma get -do! Okay, I'm still not very good at the layout of this place. Okay, so it is that one. Okay. Gotta make sure I check corners. See, this looks like a great place for a Monokuma to hide. Didn't see it though. To classroom A! For a classroom rendezvous. Shuichi. Sorry I'm late. No. Uh, it's alright, I just got here too. Um. Um, how did it go? Did Mew finish the cameras? That's she must have been working all night. She was even too tired to make fun of me. Oh, cool. Duct tape fixes everything. Two cameras that will take a picture when the sensor detects movement. Remember. And this one will take a picture and trigger this receiver. Of course, they were turned they're turned off right now, so they aren't taking any pictures. Mm. Since the disposable cameras will have to manually wind the film, right? No. Yes, you thought of that. 
Uh, she told me that the cameras will wind automatically. I see. So once they're set up, they'll take pictures every time the sensor is triggered? Okay. Uh, she also modified them so that they'll be completely silent to not attract attention. I see. They're completely silent. This is perfect. Well. It needs to be. They're absolutely essential to our plan. <gasps> uh, do these cameras have flashes? That's... Yes, they still have flashes on them, but I switched them off. They shouldn't be a problem. But... But we need to make sure they don't get turned on by accident and alert the mastermind. That's right. I'll be careful. Mm -hmm. Foreshadowing, got it. I'm impressed though. You modified them to our specifications. Then... All right, I'll tell you a little bit about this classroom before we set up in the library. Huh? Tell me about the classroom. Is that all right? Yes, I think this is the perfect place to keep watch after we set up the cameras. Um... That's fine, but why this classroom? That's true. Because we can see anyone who goes down to the basement with the door open a little. It's true, because it Look, is right by the stairs. The staircase, right? Unless there's a secret way to get downstairs. Oh yeah, you're right. We can give a lookout for anyone who goes down to the basement. Hmm. Hey. There's one more reason I chose this specific classroom. The LCD screen? This doesn't seem like the other reason. Give me more mana coins. Yeah, this sucks for an FPS. I'm just saying. Doki Doki, thank you for hitting that friendship button. Hope you've been enjoying the stream so far. Hey. It's because of something, something that's only here. And it's not the screen? Oh, me. Oh, that's so funny. Can we, does it say something different? Oh, it's the vent. I saw that light up. There we go. Air vent. Is it above the library? Is this an air vent? That's. It's connected to the library in the basement. You recognize the smell immediately. Hmm. The smell of dust? After Suishi told me that, I leaned in closer to the vent. Uh. It smells like musty old books. Does this lead to the library? Well. It's probably a vent to control the humidity in the library. Remember. Remember the duck we noticed in the basement hallway? It leads here. I see. Oh, well, Doki, that's very considerate of you. Thank you. Yeah, I like all my little announcements, but I appreciate you thinking that much ahead. Welcome to, uh, official welcome to you. Uh, but a vent in the classroom, that's an odd design choice for a school. Then again, everything about this school is odd. Uh, um... This vent is the other reason I chose this specific classroom to keep watch. This vent is just big enough for someone to be able to fit, so we should be able to we should be able to watch this carefully too. Hmm. I don't think I could fit through here. Well, maybe I could, but it'd be tough. Car yeah. brings up an interesting point, guys. If you want to join our Discord, feel free. Uh, link down below. Just click on Discord or exclamation point Discord or exclamation point social. All of our things, you can feel free to follow, like, subscribe, whatever that uh, yeah, stuff is. Love for you to join us there. Well, I guess this is the perfect spot to keep a lookout. Then... Uh, anyway, it's time. We should set up the cameras now. It's finally time to set up our plan in motion. I'm getting nervous. My heart is racing. So, set it up. No, I want to set up the plan. Set up the thing. Uh, yeah. should we save first? Might have messed it up. Anyway, it's time. We should set up the cameras now. Oh, good. We can. So let's save it real quick. Nope. Wrong one. So do I go down to the... Do I go downstairs? Is it up? Okay. You made Sonya and Chiaki magical girl sprites? 
That's cute. Or as I would say, adorkable. And yeah, link that in our Discord. We have a little picture thing. And I love seeing things like that. So please do. There should be a channel or a, a text channel in the Discord specifically for pictures like that. Uh, Discord is like a social gathering place where if you're on there, it's just so you can connect. It's got voice functions on it. Um, it's pretty. It's pretty essential to, especially gamers, because you it lets you know uh, what people are playing. You can connect right away. It's car makes it. Yeah, there you go. It's like Skype, but better. So what do you? So what do you want? Where do you want to place these? You're right. Uh, let's aim that one. Uh, Kara, could you link those into our Discord, please? So I can look at them later. I'd appreciate it, please. Let's aim the one linked to the receiver at the moving bookcase. If we place the security sensor on the bookcase itself, then when it opens, the receiver will let us know. Mm -hmm. And if we place the camera to face the moving bookcase, okay. yes, the camera should capture the exact moment the mastermind moves the bookcase. Then where are we putting the other two sensors? Remember. Well, there are two entrances to the library. The front entrance near the stairs and the rear entrance to the hallway. Let's aim one at each entrance. That way we'll have pictures of everyone who enters the library. Huh? What about over there? Um. Didn't you say a person could fit through the vent that connects to the classroom? Hey. Wait, should we make sure a person couldn't actually fit could actually fit through it? That's I think it'll be fine since we'll be keeping watch in the classroom. But we should investigate it a little more just in case. But we can't reach that high. Hmm. We need something to stand on. Or a ladder. Oh, I can probably use a ladder. Derp. I positioned the ladder below the vent and climbed up. I'm up here. This is pretty high. It's kind of scary. Also, uh, true divination. A uh, Discord isn't anything you need to necessarily download. It's all web browser based. If you want to keep it that way, so it's, it's just literally signing up with an email. Do you want to switch? Nah, I'm fine. By the way, can you see my um delicates? Now that you mention it. Uh, sorry. Sorry. Huh? So we did see them. They're lovely. They have musical notes and everything. Well, whatever. He can't unsee them. Anyway, this is the vent. That's the grate covering the vent, so I don't think anyone can get through. Can I get to take the grate off? Uh, there we go. Oh, the grate came off pretty easily. That's good to know. Did you break something, Kaede? Um, no. I didn't break it. I saw the look on his face. He probably thinks I'm a klutz. I pushed the grate into the duct. Then I lifted my body and looked inside. So how's it look? Could a person fit in there? Hmm. It would be pretty difficult, but you might be able to crawl through. I can't really get to the vent with all these books in the way, though. Hmm. Well, we'll be able to see the entrance to the vent in the classroom. So that should be okay, right? Just in case, I'll stack more books around the vet so no one can get through. With that, I begin to arrange the books around the vent. Which is smart. After I finish stacking the books, I climb down the ladder. Are you okay? What's wrong? Yeah. This will work. This will definitely work. Huh? Got it? I think this plan might actually protect everyone. Yeah, it definitely will. This plan is perfectly composed like Chopin's ballads. You know? I actually really like the complicated contraptions like Roubaix, Roubaix Goldberg machines and stuff. So I'm positive this will work. This setup is perfect. Uh, um... You really think so? This is another death flag for the plan. By the way, if you guys are wondering why I keep saying Death Flag, it's because it was brought up in a little cutscene in Ultra Despair Girls. 
That was pretty cute, back and forth. Don't say that, that's a death flag! You have to counter that uh, with a survival flag. So it's... Pass game joke. All right. Let's hurry and set up the cameras. Then... Uh, so I think it'd be a good idea to set up the cameras between books so that... Uh. Oh, hold on, I have an idea. While I was on top of the bookcase. What if we place a camera up there? I'm sure the mastermind wouldn't notice. But, but with all the books stacked on top, I don't know if there's room for the camera. You know? Then I'll test it out while you prepare the sensor on the bookcase. I'll organize the book on the books on top of the bookcase to see if I can make room for a camera. Right? That way we won't waste any time, right? Uh, okay. That that sounds like a good idea. Also sounds like we're about to mess up the plan. Oh right. Let's do it. I climbed to the ladder and looked at the top of the bookcase. Hmm. There are way more books here than I expected. Top of the bookcase is covered and end to end with cluttered stacks of books. Pardon me. All right. This is nothing. As I move the ladder, I reorganize the books bit by bit. Jeez, there are too many books. Might be too hard to set up a camera here. I knew it. I thought so. No. Wait, I just gotta try a little harder. Hey. Kaede, I know you don't like to admit defeat, but really, it's all right. For reals. I continued moving the ladder as I kept reorganizing the books. Yeah. Jeez. Well, now they are definitely gonna recognize that. That's too neat. These books are so heavy. What is this, an encyclopedia? I flipped open the book. Wait! Kaede, is that really the time to be reading a book? Uh. Sorry, I got I get distracted easily when I'm organizing things. After I made that excuse, I rushed to reorganize the heavy books, but... Um... Looks like there's too many books after all. You can't really make space, can you? be easier if I can move them into the ground, but that would look suspicious. You're right. We have to minimize the risk of the mastermind noticing the cameras. Uh, then I guess I'd be better put the camera between the books like you suggested. Right? Yeah. <laughs> you look oddly happy. Uh, um, uh, I don't. You can't live without your laptop? Nice. I, a lot of people right now can't live without their phones. Which is a camera. Which is basically a computer. And if you put them on top of the bookcase, the angle wouldn't wouldn't quite reach. Uh, and here I thought it'd be a good idea. Is that all right? So about the places to put the cameras. Oh, hmm. this is probably where somebody's gonna die. Otherwise, they wouldn't show us a top-down view. Uh, we decided to place the security sensor on top of the moving bookcase, and the camera tilted to it will be set up right here. That way, it'll capture the moment the mastermind moves the bookcase. I see. Uh, we're gonna place the other two cameras near the exit and entrance, right? I suppose so. I think here and this bookcase looks good. They would have to pass by here no matter which door they used. I'm trying to think if they still came through the vent, which is on the top right. They could theoretically bypass the main door and if they work their way across the top left they could maybe find that camera and disable it i don't know it's a guess you got to finish one of the bonus modes which you got addicted to on which on v3 we didn't do any of the bonus ones yeah sounds good on any of the games Wow, true. I bet you're you're gonna like lock up your laptop next time just so you don't accidentally sleepwalk with it and put it in the refrigerator. Then I'll put, set up the camera that's connected to the security sensor. I'll set it carefully so the camera has a clear shot when the master removes the bookcase. Then let me take care of the security sensor on top of the bookcase, and we'll set the cameras near the, each door. Hey, oh, I almost forgot. I I brought duct tape from the warehouse. You can use this. Yeah. Thanks. With that, we got to work. 
I meticulously placed the cameras in the gaps in the bookshelves. We need to set up the camera carefully so that it's aimed at the moving bookcase. Uh, I better use a lot of duct tape so the camera won't fall out of position. I feel like we're gonna duct tape over the shutter. This, these cameras are important, so I gotta do it right. Yeah. That should do it. Okay. I finished too. Hmm. No matter which entrance they use, the mastermind will be caught on camera. And if they move the bookcase in front of the hidden door, our sensor will detect that and signal this receiver. And at that moment, the camera attached to the sensor will snap the critical picture. Critical picture. Yeah, this should do it, no doubt about it. The plan will probably work. Probably. If it's moving and it shouldn't be, use duct tape. If it isn't moving and it should be, dislodge it with duct tape. Words by True Divination. Not just probably, it definitely will work. Then, All right, then the final step, turn the sensors on. I see. All right, we should turn them on before we leave. All right. Uh, there's a 10 second delay as it starts up, so we have to leave quick. Yeah. Got it. It'd be a waste of film if it took our pictures. I wanted to actually see if they stacked books in front of the vent. After setting our trap and powering on the cameras attached to the sensor, we quickly exited the library. Now we wait for the mastermind to show themselves. Okay. There's still some time left. Do you want to see any? go see anybody? No. No, I'd rather focus on the plan. Besides, I'm sure everyone else is safe. <laughs> Plus, once we get out of here, I'll have all the time in the world to see them. You're right. That's true. Well, let's go to the classroom. There's a bonus mode in V3, technically two. One being a board game. We're a level character from the three main Danga. Ooh. Then even interact with each other. That's cool. And after you use the characters, you level up in a team of four in an RPG. That's just fun. We didn't get we didn't do any of the uh, ones when Monami like attacked the Mana Beasts in the second one. Or whatever the uh, free time was in the first one either. Upon entering the classroom, a wave of anxiety suddenly overwhelmed me. My heart felt like it would beat out of my chest at any moment. Then, let's keep the door open a little, so we can see anyone going to the basement. Uh... Really, Ibuki, Sayaka, and Kaede joint performance? Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Uh, um... uh Kaede, uh, about the security sensor receiver. Hey. Could you hold on to it, please? I just feel like you'd be better suited for that than me. Ah, uh, there is a power switch on it. Make sure you don't turn it off by accident. No. No. You hold on to it. You're the one who came up with this plan, and I trust you. Um. Also, Shuichi, you just said I'm better than you at something. Why do you say things like that anyway? Huh? What? You know? I guess it's good that we have some time left, because I wanted to talk to you about that. Uh, um... Talk to me? He's going to notice all this rage, and he's going to have to talk to us. He's going to be honest. I just want to have a nice, calm conversation with you. Let's go ahead and save it just real quick. It has been forever since I actually held the control in my arms at all. I'm actually glad it still works, the darn thing. I haven't used it since I've gotten the house. You know? It's probably none of my business, but I think you should be more confident. Right? Especially since the Ultimate Initiative selected you as the Ultimate Detective. No. No, really. I, I shouldn't be the Ultimate Detective. I'm not even a real detective. Huh? What do you mean? Uh, you think I should stream that mode once you finish the main story? Could be. Of course, we'd have our mystery fun game afterwards, so... That's why I've been playing a lot more of this game instead of splitting streams. I'm... 
I didn't even really want to be a detective. My uncle runs a detective business. I would sometimes help out as an apprentice. It was usually just cheating couples, background checks. But, but one nice day... Nice to meet you all. Reset. Thank you so much for the sexy host again. Hope you had a great day of doing fantastic games. But one day I came across a murder case completely by chance. Uh, um... I solved it before the police did. They called me the boy detective. That's when I got scouted by the Ultimate Initiative, though I only solved one case. You have to watch my reaction to the Ultimate Talent Development Plan. That's the name of the bonus mode. Cool. And good to hear, Thomas Strong. It, it's like riding a bike. You you would have gotten it. Huh? Glad to know your aim is back. Even so, it's still amazing that you solved a murder case. Most people can't do that. No. I wonder. I wonder if it, it re was really a good thing I solved the case. The look on his face when we caught him. I can still see it even now. He stared at me. Like he hated me more than anything else in the world. Later I heard that he murdered the victim to get revenge for his family. The victim was abusive. They drove the culprit's relative to suicide. People told me the culprit was right to do what he did. Oh wow. The victim deserved it. But I led the police right to him. Of course he hated me. Well he still killed somebody. But yeah, I feel a little bad about that. You like over you? Not you're true. not that great at Overwatch, but May is fun. I'm, I'm usually support and tank, but this next season we're gonna be getting some DPS games in there definitely. It's not like you took sides. You uncover the truth. That's what detectives do, right? You're right. I uncovered the truth, uh, which makes it my fault, and I'm still suffering the consequences. I'm. Ever since that one stupid case, I've been so afraid of uncovering the truth. I'll never forget those eyes, the hatred, the way they say, the way they stared into me. Uh, um. Anyway, that's why I have trouble looking in people in the eyes sometimes. So that's why he wears that hat. I'm... I'm not a real detective, Kaede. What kind of stupid detective is afraid of finding the truth? Right then, I noticed Shuichi's hands were trembling. I gently reached out and held his hand. Kaede? I'm calling it. Shuichi's gonna die early. They don't make this kind of 